Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, yes, I am getting LASIK surgery. So today is April 1st and my surgery is scheduled for this Saturday on the 6th. So starting today, I cannot wear contact lenses. I must be in glasses for the next five days. I finally made up my mind and decided to go with this. I've been running away from it for so long. I have decided to stop being a little wuss and just go in and do this. I think it'll really make my life easier because I have been wearing contacts and glasses for the last... since seventh grade. I don't even know how many years that is. And it's just been progressively getting worse. Right now my eyesight is negative 2.50 but one of my eyes I have astigmatism and that just like recently happened too. I am really really nervous about this. Everyone that got it is like don't worry about it, you'll be fine after but because I'm very paranoid and I'm a worrywart and you guys know what a big sissy I am, I just think about all the bad things that can happen and ugh. I just wanted to share with you guys my experiences of getting LASIK and my recovery process as well. D5 till my surgery. Yay! It is Friday. One day left till I get my LASIK. And yeah, I've been doing fine. Just rocking my glasses for the past five days. There were some other rules or precautions that I had to follow. So yeah, no wearing lens for about like four or five days. And you're not allowed to get perm or dye your hair um, at least three days before the surgery. And then you're not allowed to drink or smoke the day before. And then on the day of, you can take a shower, but they advise you to only put on skin and lotion, like toner and lotion. You can't even put on sun cream or BB cream. And no hair products or perfume too. I was like, oh, I guess, I don't know. Maybe something to do with scent. Maybe the odor distracts. What is it? I'll go in tomorrow and ask. Honestly, the anxiety is like creeping up right now. I keep imagining the scenario in my head, just being in that room by myself, having my eyes like wide open like this, and I don't know. I'm trying to be positive and just um, trying to think about only the good things that will come out of this. I'm excited, yeah. So excited. This is great. This is great upgrade in my life. Everything will be good. Goodbye. Glasses. My manager is evil. This is what he's been doing to me all week. Trying to make me paranoid and anxious. Well... I am afraid, and <laughs> you ain't helping at all. Oh, you know, I don't want to do a LASIK surgery like that. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It is the morning of Saturday. I am on my way to the hospital right now. I'm so tired. I only got four hours of sleep. I had to take a shower this morning since I can't take a shower tonight. So my hair is very, looking very frizzy and damaged since I couldn't even put any essence or oil in it. I really wanted my eyes to be fully well rested and in its best conditions, but unfortunately, I had too much anxiety. I'm wearing my grandpa glasses today. I'm gonna try to shut my eyes for a little in the car. I don't want them to be like, Bloodshot red. This place is huge. All the tests and stuff ended around 12 and um, my surgery is at 3 p.m. So we had 
about three hours to kill, so I spent like an hour in the car just resting. And now we came to have brunch at 2 o'clock. I have to go back in and get ready for my surgery. I forgot who I was talking to, but I was talking to somebody and we were saying how all the eye doctors all have glasses and we were all like, yeah, that's true. Why won't, why won't they get LASIK if it's such like a trustworthy procedure slash surgery? So we were like, oh my gosh, maybe it's not that great after all. But then all the doctors here actually got the LASIK surgery or have given it to their husbands or their children. That makes me feel a lot better. The laser I'm getting is called femtosecond laser and the surgery I'm getting is called smile LASIK because they basically make a really small incision in the shape of like a smiley mouth so that results in less dried eyes and faster recovery oh and apparently the reason why they tell you not to use any hair essence or hair perfume or perfume is because the laser is really sensitive to scent they just gave me all these eye drops that I have to put in my eye in this bag there's more so basically, I have to put these in my eye every single day. Wow. I'm gonna start right now, before the surgery. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. But I'm going to start the surgery at home. I know I look ridiculous right now. I have my eyes closed. I don't know what I'm filming, but I asked my manager to turn on some peaceful music so my mind can be at peace. Oof. My eyes are starting to hurt. I can feel the anesthesia starting to wear off, so I'm gonna pop some painkillers uh, before the pain gets uncontrollable. It just feels like someone's holding onions above my eyes. That's what it feels like. What? We uh, it hurts. are also unwitting agents for our system uh. too often because healthcare was designed with diseases. Oh, it hurts so much more when I close my eyes. Oh. Tears keep falling. It hurts to open, it hurts to close. What am I to do? Oh lord. Oh my god. Oh, I even took Tylenol. Oh my god. Wow. It is 8 p.m. I am finally out of bed. My eyes don't hurt anymore. Maybe the Tylenol kicked in, but it's still a little mm, cloudy. It's not uh, perfectly clear, but uh, they said it's going to be like that probably the entire day today but once I wake up tomorrow it's going to be very very different I've just been putting this eye drop in my eye for every 30 minutes I've been setting up the timer yeah I'm doing pretty good with this so far this is a preservative free max clear eye drop and my eyes aren't that dry but I just want to keep putting this just in case because with LASIK surgery, it's really important that you take really good care of it after the whole entire procedure just to be able to maintain your eyesight. I'm gonna do everything they told me to do. My surgery was scheduled to 3.10 and then we got there around 2.10. We were just waiting and then at 2.30 they suddenly called me in and I didn't even have time to mentally or emotionally prepare myself. I was just sitting there just playing with my manager just being like ah. And then all of a sudden they're like, Toodles here. And I was like, what? And then um, I couldn't even take my camera or my phone. The first thing they did was take my blood because they needed to make this special eye drop for me, which is this. This came from my blood. 
sounds so creepy, right? They took out like this much of my blood and basically they only took out all the good stuff. I don't know exactly what they put in this. Probably like the white cells and all the good vitamins from my blood. Um, so I have to put this in four times a day. I have three more. I have to keep this in the fridge and the other three in the freezer. And it's supposed to last four weeks. It's kind of gross thinking that I'm putting my own blood in my eye, but... Because it's not red, it's not that bad. And this is supposed to help my eyes heal faster. I want to tell you guys more about the surgery and how it went, but I don't want to tell you guys in this state. So I have to go back for my checkup tomorrow morning. I was impressed that they still come out on Sundays. Only for the patients who got surgery today. Just doing a checkup, just making sure that everything is okay. I'm not allowed to get water in my eyes, so I had to wet the towel and kind of like pat my face but starting tomorrow I'll be able to actually put makeup on my face so I'll just tell you guys more about the details of my surgery tomorrow when I have some makeup on and kind of look more proper than I look now it's only 8 p.m. I probably listened to like 12 TED talks today yeah and that's probably what I'm going to continue to do for the rest of the night so I'll fill you guys in tomorrow so. It is 5 p.m. right now after I got back from the hospital this morning. I took a nap for a little bit and I'm up. I feel fine. In the morning, I kind of saw like clouded vision. It seemed like there was like a really thin white strip over my pupils. Pupils? Pupils? Pupils. 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 Anyways, but now it got a lot better. I woke up this morning and I was like... <gasps> A whole new world And it feels so cool And before when I was taking a nap for a second I was like wait I have to take off my contacts And I realized that I'm not even wearing contacts And I was like whoa This is so weird When you go in to get surgery You have to sit there and kind of wait for the people in front of you to get, get it done But you could see what's going on You could see how the surgery is being done And that gave me so much anxiety I saw this man getting his LASIK surgery And I made eye contact with his eyeball It was just his huge eyeball in this monitor right in front of me And I was like... <gasps> I had to look away right away and my heart started beating so fast. It was so creepy. You could see the laser like going around his um, pupils or cornea or whatever it was. But then like I got curious so I, like I peeked again. And then this time the doctor was like moving his eyeball around and I was like, Oh my god, that's what's gonna happen to me. And I started freaking out. And right after they're like, please sit here, which is the exact machine that he was lying down in. And I was like, oh my god, god. God, oh my god it's just a lot of pressure because they're like don't move your eyes and you know when they tell you like don't move your eyes at all like it kind of like fidgets on its own then they said not to put pressure on your eyeballs too so i was just clenching my hands real tight but my eyes i was just making it look like i don't want to put stress on it so literally i was like clenching my fist this hard and then at first i guess they made a small incision over here i thought that would be the end of it no but then the doctor has to manually go in there and take out the layer of your eye and they literally, <sighs> even when I'm thinking about it right now, they literally move your eyeball like this. Um, I didn't feel any pain. It's just really uncomfortable. And some people told me that when they do the laser, you could kind of smell something burning, but I didn't smell the burning at all. But guys, I can see so clearly now. I definitely recommend it. No regrets, no regrets. <laughs> Out the lenses with these two glasses. Got my glasses back. Goodbye. Hi guys, it's been 11 days since I got my LASIK surgery. Almost two weeks and I gotta say, I'm really used to this life with no glasses and no contacts now and it's truly amazing the recovery has been smooth and i i don't know what else to say except that it's one of the best decisions i've made i know how scared i was in the beginning and even in the surgery room i was freaking out a little bit but i mean the result 
a whole new world. My eyesight has gotten better from the first day or first two days I got the surgery because the first two days it was still kind of blurry and I thought that my eyesight wouldn't be like 1.0 or be 2020. But I feel like now, uh, because they said it takes time for the eyes to get adjusted, I feel like now I can see everything pretty damn clearly. Like, I don't need to squint or anything. Because I'm so used to going like, what does that say? But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my LASIK surgery experience video. If you guys have any more questions about LASIK surgery, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. And yeah, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.